Hey, happy Monday. Gaze upon my beautiful lashes. I cannot look at you, but look at my lashes. I um, I used the, the mascara that I got in my birch box last night. I love it. I love this mascara. It's really cool. I went ahead and ordered a full size one. Um, just a tip, I found it cheaper on Amazon than on uh, Benefit Cosmetics website. You can actually get it, oh, I got it cheaper on Amazon. And since I have Prime, the shipping was free. So, yeah, that saved me quite a bit of money getting it on Amazon. I always look around when it comes to buying stuff like that. Because sometimes you can find it cheaper elsewhere. You just have to kind of check around. I'm headed to Big Lots. You know, I made the video last night talking to Evie about that banana cake mix. And it's not banana bread. Lowe's food. I went to so many grocery stores. Well, I didn't go to a lot of stores yesterday, but I went to several grocery stores trying to find banana cake mix. Duncan Hines makes a banana cake mix. It's not a banana bread mix. It's banana cake mix. I didn't even know there was such a thing, but I have this recipe that I want to do for my other channel. It is for, what was it? It's banana pudding brownies. Somehow it's combining banana pudding and brownies. I don't know how the heck that works, but it sounds interesting. I like banana pudding, if you make it right. And I like brownies, pretty much any way you make them. Because you, it, brownies are just one of those things, like it's really hard to screw up brownies. I mean, I reckon you can, but it's kind of like pizza. Even a bad brownie is still pretty good, you know? Anyway, I was looking around. So I went, to, where did I go yesterday? I went to Publix. I went to two different Walmarts. I went to Food Line. I went to uh, Trader Joe's. I went, I know Aldi doesn't have it. I went to several different places yesterday trying to find this banana cake mix or anybody, any banana cake mix, whether it's Duncan Hines or not. Couldn't find it. Nobody had it. Oh, they had pineapple cake mix, lemon cake mix, strawberry cake mix. I mean, they had they had these other flavors, you know, other than just plain old yellow or whatever. No banana cake mix. What well, gum? I need banana cake mix. I know it exists. I saw it. Now, I could get it on Amazon, but it's insanely expensive if you buy it on there. You can get a pack of two boxes of banana cake mix for about $15. I don't need two boxes, and I damn sure don't want to pay $15 for it. This stupid mix, if you can find it, is less than $2. It's not expensive. But I can't find it. Anyway, according to Big Lots, BigLots.com, there's a Big Lots down here that has it. It's on East, uh, East Chester Drive in High Point. That's where I'm headed right now. I went ahead and ordered it online and paid for it, and I received an email saying, yes, we've received your order. I'm supposed to be ready for pickup today. I received nothing. I didn't, I've gotten nothing further. I've now been ghosted by Big Lots, as well as the guy that was supposed to come look at my roof. Very disappointing. Well, I found, I found somebody else to come look at it, but they can't come till the end of the week. But we're not supposed to get any rain for the next week, so I'm not super duper worried about it. Um, I still have totes and stuff, big totes upstairs to catch any water that may happen to drip down so nothing's going to get damaged. But I have another company that's going to hopefully send somebody out near the end of the week. But they, they're all very busy, and I already knew this. They're all very busy because of the all the wind and the you know, there was a lot of damage from the wind and the storms that blew through a couple of weeks ago they're still trying to deal with that they're still trying to help those people so everybody's super busy all the roofing people tree service people you know like tree removal oh there are trees down everywhere it's awful so i understand i understand and that, it may be the wind and all that that damaged my roof. I don't know. I won't know until somebody gets up there and looks at it. But my roof is not that old. It was put on, I think, not long before I bought the house. I didn't put it on, but it, it hasn't been up there long enough to, you know, need to be replaced or anything. Hopefully not, anyway. Because, God, I'm right now. 
Ugh, I wouldn't want to have to do that right now. Hopefully, they'll be able to just fix whatever's wrong. But, I'm driving up here to this East Chester Big Lots. Just, I mean, I, I don't know what else to do. I'm just going to go up here. I just need my freaking cake mix because I was kind of hoping to do this recipe tomorrow. But if I don't have the cake mix, I can't do it. I have everything else for the recipe. I just don't have the uh, banana cake mix. I'd almost be tempted to use another kind, like the pineapple or something, but I don't, it probably wouldn't turn out right. I mean, I don't know. It may not be the same kind of, I don't know, it just may not work. I'm very purple today. I have on purple eyeshadow, purple hoodie. I didn't plan it that way, it just kind of happened. I pulled this hoodie down, I had it folded up on the shelf in my closet and I pulled it down because originally I had a hoodie up there. I thought this was it, this is not it. I have one up there that's really big on me and I was thinking about getting rid of it and I thought this was it and I pulled it down I said, oh, this isn't it, this one's cute, I like this one and it kind of goes with my nails a little bit. So I just put it on, I already had it down and I have actually have on a purple long sleeved shirt under it. It just, I'm just very purple today. I don't wear a whole lot of purple. I do have some though, obviously. Um, I got into a habit for years when I was still working in an office, and I don't, I don't know how it worked out that way. It just, I didn't deliberately do it, but I got in a habit of every Monday I would wear all black. I did that for years. I don't know why. I just got in the habit of doing it. I would just, I would get dressed on my on Monday morning like dang I'm wearing all black again I don't think anybody ever noticed if they ever did notice nobody said anything about it people don't pay as much attention to what you're wearing or what you look like as you think they are they're really not people people don't you know that's why I tell people all the time don't be so self-conscious because trust me you're paying way more attention to you than everybody else is Everybody else is self-conscious and worried about themselves. They don't, <laughs> they're not looking at you because they're self-conscious about themselves. So nobody's looking at what you're wearing or what you're doing or what your hair looks like. People don't give a crap. It was always funny to me. I worked in retail all throughout most of high school and college. And it was always funny when I, you know, I worked as a cashier for quite a while in a grocery store and then again in a drug store. And it was so funny, people would come in and go, oh, I bet you're, bet you're shocked to see me in here again today. And I'm, I, I wouldn't say this, but I'm thinking, I've never seen you in my life as far as I know. But I, I would just laugh, but I, I can't recall a time that anyone said that where I actually had any memory of seeing them in there at any other point that day. I, you know, I'm not paying attention to it, but people, it's, it's a surprising number of people think that they're memorable I guess and but the truth is we're not I mean unless you walk in there in a big bird costume juggling chainsaws people are probably not gonna remember that you were in the store at all whether it's a uh, an employee or a customer people are not looking at you and once you can really fully accept that it is so incredibly liberating to realize nobody gives a shit nobody's looking at you nobody cares I used to have a lot of trouble with anxiety in, in public places, and my mother did too when she was, I can remember several times when I was a kid, we would be in the grocery store, and she would start to hyperventilate, and she would either have to go sit, there was a bench outside of the store, there was a covered area in front of the store, it was this old mom and pop supermarket that doesn't exist anymore. And there was a bench out front and she would either sit on the bench and I'd have to sit there with her and wait for her to kind of get, you know, calm down a little bit. I'd have to wait for that or she would go sit in the car and I would have to sit there and wait for her to calm down. And she would have these anxiety attacks out in stores and stuff. And I have had that happen to me a couple of times, not quite to that degree, but I felt extremely anxious. And I'm not saying that this is a miracle cure for anything, but I tell you what, once I fully understood and accepted the fact that nobody's looking at me, nobody cares, 
it cut those incidents down probably 95%. I don't really have that problem anymore. And it's quite liberating. I'm gonna run in here to big, I'm at Big Lots. I'm gonna run in here. This is the one that supposedly has my banana cake mix. I'm gonna run in there and look and, uh, and I will come back and let you know. Well, I will be darned, look. They had it. I just, I went in there, the, the cashier was busy, so I just walked back and looked for myself. They have this perfectly moist banana supreme stuff. Um, they had this, they have banana flavor. They have banana, lemon, strawberry, pineapple, all like this. I went ahead and bought a second one. They were, with tax, they were only $1.62 a piece. And that way, if um, if I screw up, I'll have an extra one. And if I don't screw up, I can make that thing. And, uh, oh, it gives you recipe on the back for banana muffins. I can make banana muffins or something. Yes, and it even gives you a creative tip. It says stir in a half a cup of chopped walnuts and a half a cup of chocolate chips into the cake batter before baking and cooling as directed. Frost and top with two sliced fresh bananas. Doesn't that sound great? It's made with banana and other natural flavor. I would have never thought in a million years to look here at Big Lots for this, but they have it. And it's like part of their regular stock. This is just something they have. I never knew. Of course, I don't, I don't really ever come to Big Lots. I just never think to come here for anything. I used to really like Big Lots, and then they just, I don't know. They're not as good as they used to be. But it, they had my banana cake mix. So that's a thing that I did not know existed before I looked at this banana walnut, banana, banana, put, banana pudding brownie recipe. It's all in one dish. It's like banana pudding and brownies. Yeah, I don't know about that, but it sounded interesting like those pickle cupcakes. So I kind of want to try it. So I'm, I'm hoping to be able to make that tomorrow. And that was the only thing I still needed. I think I have everything else. Now I've got my cake mix, so I can do it. So I'm I'm really happy about that. Um, yay! So that's awesome. I was afraid I was going to have to go to some more stores and keep looking for it because that I, I was going to try Lowe's Foods, um, because I didn't look there. I thought maybe Lowe's Foods might have it. Publix didn't have it. The two WalMarts I went to didn't have it. Food Line didn't have it. Did I go to? I think I checked Harris Teeter. They didn't have it. Ugh. So, but Google said Publix had it. The Google lied. I got to Publix. They didn't have it anywhere. They also said Walmart had it. Walmart didn't have it either. Google's a damn liar sometimes. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. I worked this morning for quite a while. Um, I don't know of much else that's going on. It's a typical Monday, so... Yeah, I'm going to a, an exercise class later. And I'm working on that short story with the, the bunny rabbit that I mentioned in a video the other day. I am I have worked on that a little bit. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I wrote a short story. So it's, and it's weird to write about somebody other than Aiden and Liddy. So, because I've been writing about them forever. I am still working on that story, but it's, God, it's slow. Because most days I just cannot get in the right frame of mind to do it. But I'm, I'm working on it. Anyway, I hope you are having a, a great day. Truly. I mean, for a Monday anyway. I hope it's a good day for you. And I will see you again soon.